numbers are on the rise across parts of the country this summer, but with fewer people testing, health professionals are turning to wastewater to try to more accurately measure infection rates. According to the CDC, the wastewater viral activity level for COVID-19 is at high and very high in 26 states right now. More than 70% of the illnesses stem from a highly contagious COVID strain known as the flirt variant. Hospitalization rates are still low, but experts say the summer spike puts vulnerable populations at higher risk. I want to bring in now Andrew Pekos. He is a professor and vice chair of molecular microbiology and immunology at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Thank you for being with us. So tell us, what more do we know about uh, this new flirt variant? Well, the FLIRT variant is yet another in a long line of what we call variants with SARS-CoV-2. Um, the important thing about it is it has some mutations that allow it to evade some of the vaccine or prior infection-induced immunity. So more people should be susceptible to infection with it. Um, it also has some mutations that make it bind a little bit stronger to the cells within your body. So again, that should help it be a little bit more efficient in terms of transmission. Um, again, it's a long, it's a, there's a, been a long line of these variants coming through that seem to be doing this dance between evading your immune response, but also binding tightly to cells, and the third variant is the most recent one of them. And talk to us just a little bit about how the testing of wastewater helps to track rates of infection. Yeah, so it turns out that even with viruses that infect your respiratory tract, like SARS-CoV-2 or, or uh, uh, influenza, there's a significant amount of some of the viral genetic material that gets into the wastewater. And the important thing about that is What's probably driving that are people with mild infections who will never seek out health care. And so that means that if you can monitor the wastewater, you can have a really early sign of increased numbers of cases because you're not waiting for the severe cases to come to the hospital or to go to their doctors. You're monitoring for those mild cases where people either test and don't do anything about it or they never actually test. Okay, so well, it's so an early marker of infection. So given that, given what, uh, what the wastewater is uh, telling you, and given what you were saying before about um, the ability of the flirt variant to evade in some way our vaccines, are, we, are you concerned that we are on the precipice of another wave of COVID? Or given that, that there seems to be less hospitalizations, should we just treat it like a, a courtesy that you would have if you had a cold? Yeah, these flirt variants look like viruses that could cause um, another wave of infections. There's nothing about them that makes us overly concerned that that would be a particularly strong wave or that it would cause more severe disease. Um, but in certain parts of the country, we are seeing a pretty significant increase in cases. Um, states out in the southwest of the United States are a great example of that. In other parts of the country, we're not seeing those increases yet. So this is a very sort of patchy increase in cases that we're seeing. All right. Andrew Pakosh, thank you.